Hi everyone, my name is Vikram from the University of Washington, and today I'm going to be talking about airdropping wireless sensors from drones and small insects. Now, sensor networks have been a topic of interest in this community for some time, and while a lot of work has gone into developing wireless protocols for them, a less explored challenge is the practical issue of deploying lots of sensors. For example, in this video, we can see sensors being deployed to monitor the volcano Mount St. Helens. That requires a helicopter and a team of highly trained professionals to navigate this dangerous scenario and to actually go and place these sensors. Similarly, if we think about the recent forest fires on the West Coast that have been on a lot of people's minds, especially here in Seattle, it would be expensive to deploy sensors across large areas of forest and also potentially dangerous to do so in areas where a fire could quickly spread. Scalability of sensor networks is also a potential issue in large farms and other more typical deployments. In this paper, we propose a solution, the idea of airdropping wireless sensors from aerial platforms. This is a common approach used by the military to get to supplies to hard to reach places, and they use large planes. To make sure the payloads can survive impact, they attach parachutes, which themselves can be large and heavy. Now, this approach is not ideal for IoT sensors, though, because they are, uh, you know, those parachutes add a significant amount of weight. They could cover the sensor when it falls, get caught on things like trees. And it also means that we have to use large planes or, uh, or something like a helicopter to actually make this work. In this work, we look to nature, and we notice that another way to survive impact is by making the thing you're dropping really small. For example, an ant can actually survive a fall from the top of the Empire State Building. And this is because these things are just so small and lightweight that the gravitational force on them quickly counteracts, uh, or the air drag quickly counteracts that force, and it makes them stop accelerating and reach a low terminal velocity. Inspired by this, we designed these very small 98 milligram wireless sensors that integrate a microcontroller, humidity and temperature sensor, wireless communication, and a battery. In addition to, uh, to the low weight, by placing the battery at the corner, that actually makes the whole structure auto-rotate or spin like a helicopter when it falls, as you can see here. And overall, we, uh, by making it small and light and by, uh, by doing this, it can survive falls from 22 meters. Another advantage to making the sensors small is that we can actually carry them with really small drones. So that means they could potentially go into confined spaces for search and rescue, um, fly under the canopy of trees in, say, in uh, uh, farms or in forests. And they can also navigate challenging environments in industrial settings where large drones couldn't operate. Here we see a video of our, our sensor being deployed from the smallest commercial drone. You'll see right here the sensor detaches and falls to the ground and the drone flies off. Now building this system requires addressing two key technical challenges which I'll discuss in the next few slides. The first is we need a lightweight and low power release mechanism that keeps the sensor attached until it's time to drop it. Our design works by using a magnetic pin that moves between two states. In one state, it prevents the sensor from falling, and then in the other state, by applying a pulse of current to the coil of wire wrapped around the magnet, it moves to the left and allows the, uh, uh, allows the whole thing to fall freely. We also uh, we design this mechanism to be robust, and we can see that even when we shake it around, it won't, uh, it won't fall unless we trigger it. The second challenge is if we're using drones to deploy sensors over a large area, we need a long range wireless uplink to send the data back. This small lightweight programmable Bluetooth chip weighs only 6.8 milligrams. The issue though, is that it has a limited range uh, when it's operating at one megabit per second. 
In this work, we show how we can extend the range of these Bluetooth chips by reverse engineering the protocol and changing the way they perform coding. I won't get into details, but by reducing the data rate to 33 kilobits per second, we can achieve distances of a kilometer. Looking forward, we also explored the idea of using live insects to carry sensors as they can fly around for hours, unlike drones which require recharging. For example, here's a moth carrying our sensor. We're also looking into leveraging our prior work on insect scale vision to integrate that, uh, or integrate that camera and release a sensor in exactly the right spot. And with that, I'd like to conclude. Thank you so much for watching.